Uh, welcome back, yeah. Okay. Um, welcome back to Let's Play Arc Resentasia Part 17. I made a mistake. There is actually some talking in the beginning of this. And if you want to if you wanna get the rest of this uh, story, you have to actually watch this cutscene because it's pretty big. If you just play the game, you won't know what's going on. Yeah, so there's another Rogue Res, and this is what we're here for, basically. And maybe you got scared and you're not pressing it. No. So basically what happened last time was we got to, we attacked Antrax. Well they attacked Antrax, Weiss did. Weiss is here now by the way. Why are you asking Lark? Oh, cutscene. Here you go. Oh, damn. I thought that was the cutscene. Oh wait, I actually need to walk towards her and I did. I was what were like, you doing? I was waiting because I thought that was the cutscene. I was like, well where is it? Okay, now it's cutscene. Yeah, now I think it's cutscene. Controlled by the diva of Okinaism? What are you doing? Just kill the diva. Survive. Lark. Good work. Our race stream is full to bursting again. Gertab's release was your fault. But at least you succeeded in restoring the ray. Wait. That was your plan? You... You got us to seal away Gertab? Then you used that opportunity to attack? Vice why? This is nothing more than a sneak attack. And what's wrong with that? Okinaism and the deity real are nothing but a disease. This plague threatens all humankind. We must eliminate them before they can spread any further. Vice. Was it really our empire that that kills a diva? Diva, you say? What do you mean? She's not dead. The diva is right over there. Now go. Attack the diva controlling Goethe. Brother, just wait. Out of my way. No. We may be brothers, but I'll fight you before I let you harm Adele. Then you will die with her. Lark, what are you doing? Vice, your highness, what good can possibly come of fratricide? Then you shouldn't be raising your sword against me either. What? Be gone, evil diva. You're nothing but Rill's puppet. Sir Vice, watch out! I think I think the cutscene started. Oh, damn it! No. Could there be another child of Isa? I thought there could only be one child of Isa at any time. Lark, why did you summon Sima? If I hadn't. Service would have been killed. <laughs> Adele. Yes, I see how it is. You'll protect Rifia with your life, huh? Yep. It's fine and dandy if I get hit by Rogress's attack. No. I had no idea it was this powerful. <laughs> This is crazy! <laughs> Gertab. Kill them all. Not just Vice. Riffia. And Lark too. All of them. All of them! Kill every last one! <laughs> Ah! 
Kirtem, stop! Now is not the time to fight. We need to get to a safe location first. You must protect Adele. Please, Gertab. Gertab? Is listening to Alf? Huh. Search? Sorry, Lark. Just part of my contract. Your friend Serge here is really just a mercenary hired by old Kina to protect Lady Adele. He's right. My job is to deliver Adele safely to Antrax. Thanks for thinking I was a bandit. That made things a lot easier. Serge? You betrayed us! Betray you? <laughs> How do you even know who's on whose side? He's right. I can't... be the way I've always been. Alf? Look, the way the Empire does things is just wrong. I couldn't stop this military advance. I don't deserve the title of Prince. Alf, what are you talking about? I'm abandoning the Meridian Empire. No, I'm only leaving it so that I can... Save it. Alf! Leslie? What are you doing? I like you. I really do. But I have a job to do. Leslie, if you want to come with me, I'd really enjoy your company. I guess I can do that. <laughs> Alf! Until next time. Lark. Well, yeah. um, thank goodness Alf is gone. We've been waiting for that because I don't like Alf. You'll okay. see. You'll, you'll see why later on. But the question is, will he rejoin us? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, Leslie, Serge, Adele, Lark, and I mean Alf and someone. No, that's all. Dinos. No, they're all gone. We only so have now all we have is Riffia, Lark, and Nico. Sorry. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty good uh, team. You you think Weiss would join your team or something? Yeah, Weiss no? Weiss is awesome. You his, his sword is pretty kick ass. Now yeah, so we gotta go. Okay, so we're waiting for this forever. Uh, Lark uh, Alf's now on his period, and Adele's been on her period for a while now. Well, now she is. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care. If Riffia gets hurt, but I get hurt. That's what she said. Oh, whatever. I don't. I don't. I don't, you don't care if I get hurt, but if, but if Ruby gets hurt, then you're hurt, you know, whatever. Well, but, you all kind of stinky. And attack. <laughs> like, what a, like, yeah, you're going to really hate Adele later as it goes on. But for some reason, the uh, their water is always down now. now. Didn't she say that she, um, that she loves LARP, but she, um, but she wanted to kill them? Like, I don't know if that's a jealousy thing. Like, she was kind of, I can't have you, no one will kind of thing, but... I know Alf, 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 Alf is obviously jealous of LARP. Like, that's maybe pretty clear. I mean, as soon as he's, like, killed a DV, he kind of went up in arms against his brother, that, so... <laughs> and it looks funny when Alf's like, I would really enjoy your company. And I, I, I take it that many different ways. I thought he was gay. Like, only, like, oh, wait, no, wait, he liked He liked Del. Maybe, maybe he's both, I don't know. Maybe he's bi. One of two. So as soon as, as soon as he said threesome, like, she just said no. I'm saying all blonde guys are gay. We were blonde when we were little, and I'm not gay, and neither are you. Not little. I have, we have brown hair now. Yeah, but we were We don't little. dye our hair, it just changed color. It was weird. Well, that, well, well let's see anything that happened to Dad. Now, we're going to get bald when we're older. I'm not looking forward to that, but okay. We're not. Not a thing. Well, time to Dad and... Or... It's a mother's dad. Oh, so, yeah, Big Bob still has the list here, so we're good. First, she was exiled from nobility for poisoning my mother. And now this. Who? And now she's lost any chance of being mother to the Emperor. Oh, oh, Lark's mom? No, no, what, no, why would it be Lark's mom? I don't know, I'm just wondering. It's Elf's mom, idiot. Enslave us? I guess, but I mean, you know, I guess. <laughs> I can't quite figure that out. Hang on, I'm trying to think about, whatever, Everything and nothing. 
Correct. I don't think you ever see Elf's mom or Elf's dad. It's just you're supposed to know they were there. Empire follow a god in religion. The only the only person whose parent you see is Larks. Oh, you see uh, Adele's grandpa. This land is all too simple to invade. The Scot. Did you order the assassination of the previous deep? The girl who threatened the destruction of our country? Do you think I'd give the pleasure of killing her to someone else? <laughs> I like boys. <laughs> I would well, just I like him. Because I don't think I, we could be friends in real life. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to find out later on that. Uh, I would like to... Maybe I would like to be like him, but I wouldn't want to look like him. You'll find out why later. He's kind of a extremist atheist, which I kind of hate. <laughs> I really do. In the beginning, atheists are the chaos. worst. <laughs> Extremely atheists are the worst. I don't care, care honestly. I really don't. You know, I think 360. Oh, wait, I don't know why I was going to that. The the 360 the fanboys. Are the anyway, Riffy is here. Also, oh, the PSP oh, fanboys are pretty bad, too. But whatever. Just the yeah, so he, she's telling us about the legend about how everything began, and it's not really all that important. Very naive indeed. Gods do exist. We are guided by their laws in the Holy Land of Noir. Thank you, Rifia. If you're religious, maybe. Yeah. They do so oh, right now, uh, oh, well, maybe he's not. Maybe so, he's not, well, okay, he's not really an atheist. He just because, okay. okay. Just we need to talk about this. Um, ima there's two gods, imaginal. No, there's two laws, imaginal and real. And Rifia is imaginal's diva, and and uh, Adele is reals. And then the child Isa decides between which one he wants to do, and then put it out to the one god Isa, and Isa does the law, and you'll find out what those laws are later. They don't really matter right now. What? You will go to the Termillion Senate as an official. Deliver this letter to Head Senator Shelley Greenhill. Anyway, yeah, I don't think he, I mean, he's not a complete atheist since he believes in God. Well, okay. he knows God exists. So okay, so now we need to take a letter. Stop by there before heading to the reception. So now we need to get to uh, a letter to a senator in another country. Lucky he's giving us a light show to do it, so. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah, he does. You are your own ruler. Never forget that. That's so true. <laughs> the choice is yours. Okay, now we can get out of here. Man, it still so sure does feel good not to have Alpha around anymore. Yeah, I mean, I want three people, though. Our search, and Adele, I mean, and then, uh... Leslie was keeping us behind because she was drawing her boobs everywhere. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? Prince Vice ended your contract because you chose Imaginal's law. In that case... See, Imaginal's law. To be honest, and Alf chose Lo Real's law if you haven't figured that out Mark yet. Mark didn't really have a choice because yeah, yeah, he was with Simma. And he re if he met... If Adele knew... Or he just didn't know. If Real is... Imaginal is well, Thanks for excluding the important parts of it. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, you just know what's going on, and if they don't, we can explain it. I'm glad you chose the way. Well, I'm, I'm probably pretty happy that we oh, So, anyway, so, uh, so Lark and, and Riffia are like, yeah, we gotta go. We're going together. And, Lark, and uh, Nico is saying, I'm gonna quit the military and join you. You're not gonna say no to me, are you? Everybody's gone. Serge and Leslie, they may have only been my friends for a short time. You know, if they just up and leave on you like... It's lonely, I know. No, that's How would you not know? what I mean. I'm not lonely. Damn I'm it, Riffia! You have two of us. Yeah, there's three of us here. Three's a crowd. Uh, stop laughing at me. Nico. <laughs> Shit, guys. But, uh, Riffia, you come here. <laughs> You're just so mean. That's no, you know, you, know, you know, I think Luck kind of wants Nico to leave so he can have his way with Riffia, you know. Are they already in love? I'm kind of wondering that. Well, they fell. They probably fell somewhat like in love in the forest, and they grabbed each other and they looked at each other. Love at first sight. What was the first sight? But it was no, first, it wasn't. It was first. I don't know. Make out pose, I guess. Oh, we're near the end. Uh, yeah, part 17. 18's next. Uh, yeah, so as soon as we get out of here, we're um, you ready for 18? And we're gonna have to shut up recently. Lark's gone. Uh, Everybody's whatever. gone, and this is the three of us. So see y'all next time. In part 18. 18.